Hi parents, it's Mr. Like again. So yesterday we kind of got this idea of uh, what are the things that we would put in a space at their house where they could study. Um, you know, is it going to be a couch? Is it going to be, uh, um, you know, a chair, a table? What are the things that they're going to need? Maybe it's on their bed, but then also lighting uh, and those kinds of things. So today we want to actually get into our kit and let them start playing with some things. So what they're going to need today is they're going to need one of these light bulbs. Okay, uh, and they're going to need uh, their battery, basically. Okay, and maybe some clips. And the idea from today is all they got to do is make this light bulb light up. Okay, and the goal behind today is for them to understand what a complete circuit is. Now for you, a complete circuit is where the uh, charge can come out of one side of the battery, go all the way through the light bulb, and then go to the other side of the battery. And that's really all they need to do in order to make this thing light up. It needs to kind of come all the way around. It doesn't matter the direction of the light bulb. Uh, we do have some LEDs in here. If they play with some of these LEDs, they will find out that the direction does make a difference, um, one side or the other of the LED. But for the most part, they're really just gonna get in and start looking at these materials. Uh, in engineering, we, we are going to talk about limitations and constraints. Uh, what are the things that you do that everybody needs in their space? They're going to need some light, um, definitely, in their space. So, uh, you know, the idea then is what are the constraints? What are the things that we have to work with? And these are the materials that we have to work with in order to make this happen. So, uh, today they're going to get more ideas about what they want to put in their space just from the fact that they have the materials with them. And the kind of sciencey thing to get out of today is this idea of a complete circuit. Now, a couple of uh, just real quick things. These uh, light bulbs, I cut these out of uh, Christmas tree lights. And the wire, the copper wire on the inside, there's several different strands of copper wire in here. And sometimes they get frayed kind of all over the place. If you just take them and kind of caress them and, and, and twist them, uh, it'll turn into kind of one wire, which is what you need. If they start to fray, it's fine. Um, if, there's, if they actually break off, you can um, use a scissors and try to take some more of this um, plastic off of there, the, the rubber piece off of there, so that uh, uh, you can strip it down to the wire. So you're going to need uh, these, one of these light bulbs and basically the battery today. The rest of this unit, uh, a lot of this unit is going to be really focusing on how do we use all of these materials in order to work? Uh, how do we hook different things up? And it's going to kind of revolve around some challenges. How do you hook up one light bulb? That's today's challenge. Is there more than one way to hook up a light bulb? Could you use the solar panel? I don't know. Um, next time, uh, so once we understand this idea of a complete circuit, of how charges go around, there's a little bit of reading in there today as well, so they have some background on this. But once they get this idea of a complete circuit, next time we're going to say, how do we light two light bulbs? And we're gonna see what they can do. Can they figure out how they can make two of the light bulbs light up? And there, there are more than, more than one way to do that. And then we're gonna kinda of get more, how do you hook up a fan with a light bulb? What happens when we hook in solar panels with the thing? So the idea is we're gonna to continue to build upon these challenges for the kids. Uh, today's activity might take them a, uh, a short amount of time. It shouldn't take that long for them to figure out how to light this thing. Uh, but some of the later activities might take a little extra time, uh, more than maybe a day. So uh, I know the first activity is very quickly, just kind of sketching something out. This one might go fairly quickly, but as we move forward, uh, it, you're going to find that some of these uh, lessons the kids are going to struggle with and it's going to take them a little bit longer. But that's good um, for them to uh, kind of get their hands dirty in some of these things. So today, they're essentially just lighting this light bulb. And if they want to use some of these clips to clip from here, uh, you know, to here, that would be fine. Uh, one of the things they're going to learn is that you have to touch the metal part. You can't touch the, the plasticky part here. Um, you know, or you can just touch the metal to the metal and you can make the light bulb go as well. So there are more than one way, uh, more than one ways to do this. So have a good time. Uh, I think your uh, son or daughter is going to love kind of jumping into these materials. If you have any questions, please contact your teacher. Or you can contact me at likescience2020 at gmail.com, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like science and you like this video, feel free to like this video below and subscribe for future updates.